Hello, everybody. We're back with some Losers Round 5 action. It's Leviticus once again with JB Henry, and we are watching Pangolin versus Floyd. I'm going to be honest, JB, I don't know if this is a matchup that we've ever seen. I'm probably wrong about that. Don't quote me. But uh, at least on stream, I can't recall ever watching these two play, so this is going to be an exciting one. I don't think I've ever seen Pangolin play, so I'm really excited about this. Floyd is... I mean, Floyd's one of the titans of Dr. Mario. You don't see him winning a lot of, you know, speed brackets. Uh, but all of that said, uh, Floyd is an incredibly good player. He's, he's one of those, like, you know, I, I would almost put him, like, on that Mount Rushmore of Dr. Mario players. He's very, very good. And he's definitely a force to be reckoned with here. Pangolin I've never seen, so hopefully we uh, see some competitive play out of Pangolin. But if they've advanced this far uh, into mm -hmm. the loser's bracket, they, they must be doing something right. Well, in case in case you were unaware, and for anyone at home that may be unaware, Pangolin uh, was the winner of the, the Pennsylvania Regional against Rob Burrito in the finals. Ah, so okay. she is in our Columbus immunity pool. So she is definitely uh, a, a very strong player, I would say. Uh, def uh, there's no mistake she's made it this far. Perula from our last match is actually a sisters and practice partners with Pangolin. So you can okay. expect to see very similar uh, play out of Pangolin as well. Um, but I, I have wanna... seen Pangolin play because I definitely was uh, watching. Uh, we got, I, I just moved and we had all the internet and everything set up. And the first thing we put on was the Pennsylvania Regional. So oh, perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm going to get these players started. Uh, Pangolin versus Floyd. Pangolin on your left, Floyd on your right. Uh, given this players the signal to begin, so we should be off in just a moment. And off we go. Interesting board, not much to speak of on columns one and two. You can kind of throw down some stuff there and get some setups going, and we're seeing... Uh, Pangolin already throwing some combos down. A little bit of a help for Floyd. Actually going to convert that garbage into a triple, and that's going to slightly disrupt Pangolin's board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very strange sort of hump uh, to the center of the board at the opening here, but both players have navigated it quite well. Pangolin, though, already off to quite a lead here. Um, we watched her a little earlier, uh, with the, with which we weren't in the booth just yet at that time of the night, but um, earlier on tonight, Pangolin uh, in the winner's bracket was sent here to losers by uh, the infamous Hebe Motto, who's uh, in attendance tonight, um, but it was very close. She Pangolin brought Hebe Motto to a decider, and uh, it was an uh, epic game five uh, that she unfortunately did not win. But um, she's looking to make it back and get the run back, I'm sure. But uh, it's not going to be easy against a player like Floyd. Yeah, Pangolin not getting really anything favorable of. Uh pills here uh, to really start building down this board. Floyd is going to drop down a uh, combo and uh, as well as Pangolin here. Floyd's got a little bit better board health, facing a little bit more favorable of a top line and he's going to drop down a yellow just to get things off and then a short stack to uh, bring some combo down. A little bit of a, a generous piece of garbage there by Pangolin. Pangolin is uh, currently holding on to a massive virus count lead though, uh, almost 20. I would say her board health lead is quite massive as well and it's been pretty much right from the start she's just had an amazing start to this game and she's just kept it rolling all the way to the middle uh, she's going to be in her end game before long unless floyd can do something about it yeah floyd is uh you know stacking up here looking for combos he's going to get a double here really would love a yellow blitz here that's that's what's uh, going to be key for floyd as Floyd is starting to get some virus clears, he is going to drill down some blues. And, uh, ooh, last-minute decision there to flip the uh, yellow-red. And uh, he is setting up for a drop cross here. Uh, just needing that uh, red if it comes down. Just a little bit stunlocked. He is going to get it. And uh, now he's going to drill down and continuing to set up yellow-red. Really, a yellow-red blitz for Floyd would be huge, so he can really start taking down that big cluster of garbage on the top of this board. Mm -hmm. But despite being so far down the board, Pangolin is already initiating stun lock against him. Um, and uh, given the fact that his right side has been so brought down, um, which is generally speaking a good thing, but in this case it's just adding so much drop time and just giving Pangolin the ability to set him back even further, unfortunately. Really, really good board by Pangolin. Pangolin, I don't know if Pangolin got the note, but we're playing versus and not speed here because <laughs> Pangolin is playing through this 14 with just absolute brilliant speed here, already down to 14 viruses. 
and uh, with this drop is going to be down to a dozen. Meanwhile, Floyd's still at 34 here, still just trying to get some momentum going. Uh, the garbage that seems to be coming down uh, by Pangolin is just getting right in his setups. And when that happens, there's really not a lot you can do uh, besides just try to build around it. And uh, that's kind of what we're seeing here. Pangolin's going to get another uh, double combo and is going to drop more here. But Pangolin just playing this with just absolute ferocity. Oh, absolutely. Her her board is essentially clear. I, and you're very right. I, I do feel like I'm watching a speed run uh, <laughs> at this point because uh, there's just nothing left on the board. She's cleaned everything up so wonderfully. Like, it's it's incredible. Uh, so she's uh, very close. She's going to be a little tricky to get these double reds in the bottom right. But honestly, even if she has to clear them up vertically, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But Floyd will top out first, and that'll be game one for Pangolin. Yeah, Pangolin just absolutely burned through that board. Uh, Red-yellow to start, or red-blue to start is rough with no real place for it. But uh, we see combos, uh, same color combo, but different... Uh, locations on the board here as uh, Floyd oh did a miss flip in one and or two and three that's going to be really rough for him he's going to be forced to have to go horizontal his column three is now cut off as well that's a really really tough early misplay it, it definitely can be absolutely uh, we're going to see if uh, he can get the clearance here to make the horizontal as there's now garbage dropping into the center which is really affecting his ability to clear it out and uh, try to attack this horizontal uh, situation on the left side. Um, he's, yeah, he's quickly running out of room. His center's now beginning to fill up, and this is not looking good. No, blue-yellow is what he's looking for here, and he's not getting it. And uh, he's just going to have to short stack things and just try to open up. He's got column three open back up to him uh, because of the overlapping garbage when you... Uh, get a uh, piece of garbage and it's at the top of the board uh, it'll just overwrite the color and that was av advantageous for Floyd because it did start as red so it being blue was huge for him but he's still struggling mm -hmm. but he does at least have some setups here in the rightmost columns um, not to mention uh, he's going to have a horizontal opportunity here and the garbage will fill it in for him unfortunately he would have gotten across uh, if he had been able to place that double yellow but uh, you know it's difficult to complain when the game gives you favorable garbage absolutely and and uh, Floyd here has a another nice setup. Uh, if he can get a blue going, oh, there we go. He's going to fork that down and uh, put three on. But uh, they, it is going to help clear out some blue garbage. And again, Pangolin uh, deciding that uh, she didn't want to play versus. She wanted to play speed here. Uh, is again, holding on to a 20 virus lead, which at this point in, in the play is huge. And if this is a preview of what we're going to see of Pangolin and Columbus... I, I think she's going to be turning a lot of heads uh, in, come November. Oh, I, th I think she already has uh, in terms of her, her regional win, and we will be seeing her uh, in Hartford in just a few... Uh, less than a week away now uh so she'll be she'll be put having her skills on display uh, there so uh definitely keep an eye out for that but in this game now suddenly starting to see a bit of a, a garbage coming up on the board here so uh the right side not looking great she's gonna maybe have to get the remainder of the sport horizontally if she can't find a way uh to to sort out whatever's going on up there and Floyd finally starting to get some action on columns one and two. He brought down a big stack of garbage, so he's starting to be able to uh, get some clears going. We know we know Floyd's speed pedigree, so if he could start getting the momentum going, he'll start getting clears like it's nothing. And uh, it is uh, blue. But Floyd now is just having these setups and then just getting the absolute worst pill combination to try to clear him out and really has nowhere else to go with it. Uh, but it is 15 to 33, and a, that's going to make it 11, taking four viruses off the board as Pangolin. And Pangolin here looking, I think, for a cross on these reds uh, in the center of the board to uh, really get things going. Yeah, that's absolutely happening here. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the way that she's carved out the center, the spire in 7 and 8 is almost going to just act as a barrier, uh, a roof, an umbrella, if you will, uh, to the uh, to the garbage that might fall and disrupt it. So other than column 6, uh, if she can just get rid of this red here, and she does, she does with a combo, um, she will have two columns that she'll have to keep clear in order to get horizontals on all these column 8 viruses, but uh, nothing is going to fall in, in at least column 7 to disrupt her. But uh, if... Uh, Floyd, on the other hand, a very clean board all of a sudden, and he has so many setups, he's going to send a quad here in just a moment. Um, 
it's going to be tough for Pangolin to attack these viruses horizontally, but also continue to make combos. And she's going to have to because, as you can see right now, as it's happening, if you let Floyd run wild, he's uh, he's going to take it, and he's going to he's, you're going to be sorry that you let him uh, go run free with and get all these combos. Yeah, Floyd. If you give Floyd an inch, he will make it a mile as far as uh, gameplay is concerned here. And if I'm if I'm Pangolin, I'm gonna work on a D sandwich here. You've got the wide open column five. You're just waiting on a red here, but Floyd is just. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna have time. Issuing stun locks here. You can't you can't win if you don't play. So uh, it looks like uh, maybe she'll have a chance here to finally get this D sandwich. If she can get the tuck, she'll get oh, it. But, wow, oh wow, she boy. does it. Oh, she finds Floyd. an end game to take game two and steal it away from Floyd. That was amazing. That was one of the best versus matches I think I've ever seen. <laughs> just the amazing comeback. <laughs> Floyd almost had that. That was just an amazing stun lock sequence by Floyd here. Uh, but we get into game three here. Pangolin looking to put this away. Uh, Floyd is going to do a drill combo here, and he is going to uh, just clear the board, get a short stack here, get things set up. I think Floyd found his momentum because he's really just kind of going off the handle here and he's getting a couple more viruses off the board but uh, it is a clean board here for pangolin but pangolin playing a very uh, yellow heavy top line uh, and if garbage can rain down that could make uh, winding this board down a little bit more rough for pangolin mm -hmm. and, and Floyd is finding the combos now uh, he definitely has uh, found some momentum here looking definitely a lot more ferocious than he was before but uh, after that last game, I was a little worried that, you know, after a loss like that, it's so difficult to keep your mental composure and not to just, you know, tilt off that you had this game in the bag and it flipped, slipped away from you. But it looks like that's not really affecting him. He's he's pulling away here in game three. Uh, well, uh, Pangolin's board now looking very cluttered, whereas uh, now Floyd is the one that has a speed run looking board here. Yeah, Floyd, I think found... It's that thing, especially, you know, in verses where you can just kind of go to the next one. Floyd's momentum is just carrying over to that. And it's so important because you have that momentum, you have that confidence in your play, you're seeing the board better. And I mean, when you have just that kind of a holy stun lock run that Floyd had, it really just makes you want to continue to just build those combos. And th there's a lot to be said for, for the mental game and the confidence uh, that comes or sometimes goes with it. And uh, now, all of a sudden, uh, I was going to say, if, uh, if, if you let Pangolin uh, get away with this, she's going to she's gonna bring it back oh against you. And, and she's doing exactly that. She's just so good at cleaning up garbage-filled boards. Uh, mm -hmm. It really takes a lot of aggression to really put her in a tough spot because it's, it seems like no matter where the garbage falls, she is able to find a way out of it and keep pace. Yeah, but Floyd here is just setting up some amazing plans here, and he was able to just uh, double yellow off a couple of uh, viruses and then just parlay that into a big combo. So he's really just playing phenomenally right now. He's holding on to a five virus lead. Board health is really dealer's choice right now as Floyd getting an L, yeah, and he's going to get garbage raining down to take more viruses off the board. He's still maintaining that slight virus lead here and uh, now starting to get a virus off the board. He he is at 17 playing a really clean board. Uh, can Pangolin come back from this? Because Floyd is just on a tear right now. Mm -hmm. Well, don't don't jinx it because you you never know with with Pangolin. I feel uh, definitely things looking good for Floyd. A very clean board, as we've said, speed run esque. Um, now he just has to make sure he can close it out. Make sure that he executes this end game correctly and uh, doesn't let anything slip. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, he's uh, he's very much in the driver's seat now. This, I feel, is his game to lose. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, with 13 viruses left, the board elevation low, you may even want to consider building that umbrella. I know that's a big influx play uh, that we saw, that we've seen a few times when he's played competitively in versus. Uh, but it's uh, looking to be a good board here right now. Not a lot of red access virus-wise for Floyd, uh, and it's a little bit messy on that left side for Pangolin, but Pangolin can really start uh, knocking some stuff out here. I think maybe starting to aim for a horizontal clear. Uh, a lot of triple stacks, but that's a huge piece of garbage from Floyd. Uh, Could have prevented a triple, and uh, he is 
currently still holding on to a five virus lead 11 to fit now it's 11 to 15 look at this clear though by floyd he's going to get a triple that's then with those pieces starting to drop further down stun locking so so important here if you could start stacking combos like we saw last game floyd basically didn't let pangolin do anything for a solid 30 seconds mm, floyd looking still clean but pangolin is starting to clean things up as well uh still virus count in favor of floyd um but uh, it the the margin is is thinning and getting closer and closer and uh it's hard to say who's gonna take this Every every single combo decision, every single play here, very, very critical in the end game. And Floyd, I think, was trying to dash that over and didn't quite do it. Uh, he does get a little bit of a recovery, but no combo. I know he was aiming for that. But uh, Floyd might just want to start working on clears here. He is pretty much uh, ready to go. But here come the combos by uh, Pangolin now, as she's the one drilling down the end game combos. And, ooh, I thought that was a misflip, but it looks like Pangolin's going to set up a short stack clear. Uh, but Floyd's going to disrupt it with that garbage drop. Both players locked here as garbage falling down the board. And it is five to six here. Can Floyd get this win and force a game four? Uh, good combo there. Uh, Floyd's probably going to have to go horizontal, and he can parlay it into a combo. Uh, but I think he's going to just try to get everything that he can cleared out and put this away. Uh, he's got to get be quick on that horizontal, though. Let's see what he does. He does Pangolin is coming up on the end here. She's just going to need a, a, a platform and a yellow, and she's going to be out once again. Oh, no! But Floyd's, Floyd's going to take it! Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! We're going Amazing. to game four! Wow, I can't Floyd. even... <laughs> I need a moment, I need a moment. You take a moment here, I'll take a minute, a couple seconds to call this here. 59 to 54 here as Pangolin uh, going for a high elevation cross. And now with a short stack here, trying to put this away early for Floyd. But Floyd's going to have a combo of his own and uh, is going to disrupt column six a little bit here as uh, we get a drop combo here from uh, Pangolin. Pangolin is going to drop down two pieces, but Floyd's going to drop down two of his own here. But Floyd... Or Excuse me, Pangolin nearly cut off in column six, so she's going to have to be very careful with her decision-making here as Floyd may have an opportunity to put this away. We'll see what uh, Pangolin decides to do. She's going to drop two down. That's going to clear a blue stack, and Floyd's just going to go into clear mode here for a moment as uh, he is holding on to a four-virus lead, but these players both playing at a high elevation. Mm -hmm. And Unfortunately, Pangolin's right side has been cut off by this column six spire. She's finally able to take it down. But now it looks, I don't know if it was a misdrop, but it looks like Floyd is high up in the center. He's managed to take it down. Both of these players living on the edge, uh, but it looks like Pangolin may have come out of it a little cleaner. Yeah, and Floyd is going to get a tuck clear here. He's keeping those center columns open to so these players. I think realizing it's all about just trying to get that center of the board cleared out, not trying to get too risky here. A good combo from Floyd. He's going to drop two down. That column four getting a little precarious for Pangolin. And here comes another combo by Floyd. Floyd might top out Pangolin, and he will! What an wow. opportune combo for Floyd, and we are going to another decider. Is this going to oh be another reverse sweep? I, I... Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> We've got uh, two early uh, yellow pieces of garbage coming down from uh, Pangolin to try to block Floyd off. I, I, I think these players are just ready to try to maybe go into kill mode here. Uh, it is uh, a horizontal clear and then a vertical clear. Where is this going to go? It's not going to disrupt Floyd's center. You always kind of have to stop and catch your breath uh, when you're so high up and you know that combo's coming you don't want them in four and five it looks like these players have managed to drop the board down a little bit a cross clear from floyd and floyd is currently behind by one virus but i think that's really not big of a deal right now these players are trying to dig into their board a lot of doubles on that bottom half of the board and oh i think floyd may have misplayed that blue yellow in uh six and seven Oh, I, honestly, I'm seeing differences, changes, and maybe some flubs from both players. I've noticed that Pangolin has slowed down her pace tremendously in this game five. I think just, you know, when you're in a situation like this, uh, you're feeling so comfortable, and now Floyd is really bringing it back and putting the pressure on you. It's it's a lot. You start to get really nervous. So I hope that's not affecting her too much, but I think it might be at least a little bit. And she's now fighting at the top of her board to stay alive.
it, you've got to make a deci decision if you're going to be aggressive or if you're just going to try to lay back. And I think I, I think both players tried to go aggressive, tried to get the quick game five win because there's so much pressure when you get into that fifth game competitively. And uh, these players absolutely showing why. Uh, you know, that change of pace is helpful. Floyd slowing down a little bit. He's taking himself off the gas a little bit, but uh, going to get a combo here, and he's going to drop things down. And with the board a little bit more open, it's going to be a little bit more stun lock time here. Floyd's going to get another combo. Floyd's got good setups here. He's just waiting for the right pill combination. Mm, I think this is exactly the kind of board that, that Floyd excels at, actually. A lot of doubled up, a lot of uh, uh, vertical opportunities for him to take advantage of. Uh, yeah, this is looking great for him, and he's starting to make his way. He's, uh, starting to look good here. Uh, oh, this is gonna be unfortunate column four garbage for him, though. We're gonna see how he handles it. If, if I'm Floyd here, I'm eyeballing a, a horizontal clear, and that's exactly what he's doing, just to get that thing, get the stack down a little bit. That double blue is gonna be huge, uh, as long as he doesn't get another piece of garbage on it, and he doesn't, and a generous horizontal clear. Uh, meanwhile, Pangolin is holding onto a virus lead, and she is got the center of her board cleaned out here, uh, has spires on columns one and column eight, columns one and eight, rather, and is just continuing to uh, put the pressure on Floyd here. Floyd playing a high elevation board. He's going to get a short stack. He's got to get that blue off of column four somehow. Triple's really going to make things tough for him. It is now 24 to 39 as another combo raining down, and that's going to disrupt a little bit, but Floyd's got a horizontal red setup if he wants it, and I think he's going to have to to survive here. He oh, is wow. no, continuing he's to have a rain down, but no! He oh. missed the tap, and that is it. Pangolin! advances in what was I, oh. I i say the last match was the best one i've seen but this may be another instant classic wow floyd will advance wow that was incredible i <laughs> i just I, you can't ask for better drama than that that was amazing so uh amazing performance from floyd nothing to be ashamed of um, I, I gotta be honest, you've seen a lot of three twos just across the board. Taking a look at the bracket here, unfortunately I can't pull it up on the stream, but if you uh, take a look at the link that I'm about to drop in the chat here, it, I just want to point out the number of three to two games across the entire bracket, throughout the entire tournament. There have been so many deciders, so many upsets. Uh, we're going to move right on to the next one and we're going to get it ready for you. And JB, I gotta tell you, if you've liked the last two games and you're going to love this one, you've seen Perula, you've seen Pangolins, the two sisters, played together, got good together, and now they're going to play each other in the loser's bracket. Stay tuned, everybody. Now, the battle for mom's favorite coming up next. <laughs> 